Major Slack Videos. Hey, welcome back to Major Slack Videos here. First off, for shout out with the Eritrea gameplay. If you want to play as the Spellblade that I'm using for this DLC run, go to my homepage, my channel homepage, and you'll see, um, second from the top, a playlist entitled How to Beat, no, or rather, how normal people can beat Elden Ring in under 22 hours and uh, follow that and you can have this build here in 22 hours as advertised. Well, actually you have to follow the uh, next playlist, which is how to prepare for the DLC, which is about three or four hours on top of that. So in about 25, 26 hours, you can have this build here that I'm using to go through the DLC. All right. So that's that. Um, speaking of the base game, I just want to go quickly back to the base game and get a couple of items. Um, couple of very important items. One is the, we're going here to the inner consecrated snowfield up in the consecrated snowfield. Yeah, we're going to get the graven mass talisman. Right now we only have the graven school talisman, which um, increases the damage of our sorceries by 4%. We can upgrade that to the one that will give 10% or rather 8%. Okay, so we want to upgrade this to the graven mass talisman. This is found in the Albanoric Rise. The Albanoric Rise is just east of the Inner Consecrated Snowfield. See this circle right here? Just put a beacon right here. And it's going to get blizzardy right about here. And this ability is going to go practically down to zero. Make sure you have some crystal darts ready to go. Okay? And we have to solve a little bit of a puzzle once we get there. Let's go melee, because we don't want to kill these guys. There's a couple of imps there. Okay, so we're going straight towards the beacon. And we'll have to go up here. Up on the cliffs here. There is a giant ball enemy on the way. we we'll just avoid that and go continue towards the beacon. As soon as you spot an imp... Well, I'll show you what to do. We're going to have to act quickly. Because you have to get these imps at the Albanoric Rise to fight one another. Okay, this is the these two ball enemies. One. There's something to pick up there. Huh. Interesting. And I'm going the wrong way. Right here. Albanoric Rise should be right down there. Okay, right here. And there's an imp around the corner here. That's a statue. There's the imp. The Smith. Just throw enough crystal darts at him to, to zap him and then lead him around here to this guy and zap this guy as well and get them to fight one another and then that solves the puzzle the seal on the rise is opened then you can kill this guy And now, if that fails, you can simply go back to the Site of Grace, reset the game, and try again. Okay, and now we can go into the Albanoric Rise, climb the ladder, and get the Graven Mass Talisman. Boom. There we go. So now all sorceries will do... 8% more damage instead of 4% more damage. That's 4%, that's 8%. Next, I want to get the Bolt Drake Talisman plus 2. Right now, we only have the... I think we got just the default version. Yeah, we need to have a plus 1. We can get the plus 2 version by going back to the Crumbling Fairy Missoula. And doing a little run there. This will take about 5 or 6 minutes. up here at Dragon Temple Rooftop. And then we're going to go back to the DLC. Alright, so let's get ready for this. That is pretty much exactly the way we want it. Okay, you want the Carrying Regal Scepter, Staff of Loss in the left hand, and all the talismans just like this. And let me just do something before I forget. Set up the Flask of Wondrous Physic with something more useful. Take that out. Take that out. Let's put in Magic Shrouding Cracked here. And second slot, we're going to put in the Cerulean Hidden here, which was nerfed, unfortunately. So now it only gives 
10 seconds free magic instead of 15 seconds before. <laughs> I swear, from software is like watching my walkers and using me as a kind of like a a free game tester. Because every time I come up with good strategies, they nerf it. <laughs> okay, should be able to one shot these birdies here. Count your kills, that's one. Go in this corner here. Like Comet with everything I told you, should be a one shot, that's two. That's three. Another birdie over here. That's four. Watch out for the dragon there shooting down thunderbolts and lightning. Just look for the red spots on the ground and avoid them, obviously. That's where the lightning's gonna hit. And there is birdie number five. Okay, having killed all those birdies there, you can safely drop down here. Get on this rooftop here. Can we reach this guy? There we go, reach that guy there. And now I have to use use the bow. I think of this guy right here. He's gonna approach. And finally, all we have to do is actually we can get rid of the the dragon. So I'm not gonna kill him. He's a pain in the ass. You have to kill him quickly. Basically by melee. There's no other way to do it. You shoot him with a ranged attack, he'll just disappear. Which we want. This will get him to stop with the lightning crap. Stop with the lightning crap. There we go. Now he's gone. Okay, so. Only one more birdie we have to take out. This one right here. There we go. All the rest we can just ignore. And the best sword to have on now is the meteoric, meteoric or blade. This will bring down the birdies. But we can just ignore all the rest if you just take my route that I'm showing here. Stick to the right side here. Jump up here. Go to the east to the edge of the cliff and you'll see a place where you can drop down. Okay, and let's continue to drop down like this. This should be a safe drop. Let's just make sure by throwing down a rainbow stone. You know the deal. If it breaks, it's not safe. If it doesn't break, you won't kill yourself. You may injure yourself, but you won't kill yourself. Okay, and Night Comet mode, Staff Lost in the left hand, everything is good. Rainbow Stone, it doesn't break, it's safe. Okay, now we have to deal with this absolutely hellacious Knight. Should be able to take him out easily with um, Night Comet, as long as we're at a distance. You can spawn one by just running in here like this and running out, get as far away as you can. He's going to come out, lock on, spam like comment. There he is. Yeah, that's the easy one. Get your sneak on. Carefully up these stairs here. You're going to look for a little storm bird in the corner here. If you can take this guy out nice and quiet, you can sneak by two more knights. There we go. And it sounds like that guy is patrolling up there. He 
start. Okay, let's see what the situation is. Hold it, hold it, what's it, hold it. There he is over there, and there's another one over here. He's looking in our direction though. Let's just wait and see what he does. What we'd like to do is get in that elevator there. Okay, I'm just gonna risk it. Ha, got away with it. <laughs> Okay, now we gotta deal with the Crucible Knight. He is, however, tethered. He can't go any further than about this line here. So keep that in mind. If you get in trouble, run away. And go past that line and he can't come any further. But we should be able to ambush him with, um... Because he's gonna be busy fighting some other enemies. There he is right there. He's just spam Knight Common until you run out. Make sure you lock onto him. Yeah, I'm mean, accidentally killing the other guys. I don't mean to do this. And ran out. Let's run away. Run away first, then refill. Okay, carefully go back. Yeah, that didn't go well. I wasn't able to lock onto him. Okay, same dealio. Spam Knight Common as you're backing away until you run out. And you run out, run away. And he's going to be tethered. Down here should be safe. Refill. See if he comes out here. Nope. There he is. Almost dead. There we go. Done and done. Finally. Ladder up. Get your sneak on. Little birdie right here. Charge Night Comet should one shot him. And for your efforts, you get the Bolt Drake Talisman plus two. Okay, give you good light, lightning protection. Let's go back to the uh, the DLC and down to the Cerulean Coast side of Grace. All right, let's get on our lightning gear. First of all, let's wait till daytime. Okay, so this is the Cerulean Coast West Run. I'm going to work this whole area here. Lots of grave lovers to pick up. A cookbook, a couple cookbooks, a new weapon. Anyways, um, let's start working it and we'll eventually end up at the Cerulean Coast West side of Grace, which is right about here. And then there's this like tunnel that will take us over down to the island. And there's lots to do in this area. First of all, let's get our best lightning gear on. And this would be... What is it, Mr. Laptop? The Silver, silver Tear Mask. Silver Tear Mask and all the Malformed Dragon Armor. This here. The armor. the gauntlets and the grease. 
Okay, and we're going to need the Arsenal charm for this setup. This is to help deal with the lightning balls. It's going to be dealing with a lot of lightning balls. And just like that. I think maybe the Graven Mass Talisman would be better here. Alright. And I'm still fat rolling. Um, we can lose this. There we go. And the Starline Sword. Alright, Staff of Loss in the left hand. Carrying Regal Scepter in the right. Ready to rock. Let's go with Noon. did I have in mind? Oh yeah, that's right. Instead, um... Oh, I didn't actually get the Star Scourge Talisman? Oopsie daisy. Okay, so there goes that idea. Um... Oh yeah, and I forgot, of course. The Bolt Trick Talisman plus two. And the Pearl Drake Talisman plus one. And here we'll have to go with the Arsenal Charm plus one. Okay, so that's all for Lightning Protection. Oh, and um, instead of this shield, let's put on the Wooden Great Shield, which I stored away. Any story? Yep. This right here. This has the best lightning protection of a shield that we can actually use. This has better, but it has strength 34. Okay, so that's my loadout. Let's start working it. All these like these fallen runes that like are slopes like that, at the top of them there's always something. Assuming you can get on it. The ones you can't, I'm gonna show you how to do this. This should be a grape lover nine. There we go, this like all or this like all. Next one over there is the same thing, grape lover nine. Okay, and in the next area, there's going to be a ton of lightning balls. Actually, not a ton. Three lightning balls. Which is why I geared you up for lightning protection. There's also a black knife assassin over that way lurking around. A couple of grave birds here as well. There's the Black Knight Assassin right there. He can teleport to you very quickly. Let's uh, see if we can take him out with a couple of Night Comets. There we go. Very good. Grey Bird up there. And this area here is full of lightning balls. They are the priority. If we can get rid of all three lightning balls, then we won't have to wear this armor or the shield. There's one right there. So if you put on your shield, you get close to one and just trigger it. You can actually take the brunt of its attack. I wonder if we have any uh, lightning proof liver. Can we make some? Yes, we can.
Okay, lightning proof dried liver. Take one of these. Okay, shield up. Just there we go. And once it blows its load, that's it. It's done. <laughs> That's one down. Here's another um, Black Knife Assassin. Same dealio here. Spam Knight Common until he's done. Um, this one... You know what? We can ambush this guy with some... Uh, Terra Magica. A little full moon. There we go. And then follow up some night comet. Grab the gravekeeper's cookbook. This will allow us to make pick bone arrows. Okay, there's another lightning ball over there. Okay, lightning proof dried liver. Approach, trigger it. Yeah, can't touch this, can ya? And it blows its load. See, normally without all that protection, those things can kill you. Like, like from a full health bar. And try the whoops, watch it. Just trying to put my shield up. I try. Let you prove dried liver should be still good. Um, see if we can suck at this one into blowing its load. There we go. That's it. So that's all three. Now we can put a regular armor back on. And a regular loadout. So that would be a uh, leather headband and this beautiful glorified attire. Leather arm wraps and leather leg wraps. And get rid of all this stuff and put on Graven Mass Talisman, Ritual Sword Talisman, and the Magic Scorpion Charm. There we go. Full help. Alright, so now we're in Night Comet mode. And we can get rid of this shield and go back to our Banished Knight. Shield plus 25, and we're good to go. What's your story? Spirit Greystone 2? Times 2? There's a... Uh, yeah. Trying to fake it, eh? I think that's it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Another one right there. And looks like another one over there. That is it, we got enemy group refill should be clear. Let's take a little run around, see if we can get some goodies. Oh here we go. Brave Lover 7. This one we can't get up. We're going to have to go into an underground tunnel in order to get on top of this one. I'm going to show you how to do that um, first thing next video.
If you go around the other side, you'll see the same thing. It's too high. This one over here, we can access with a little sneaky jumping from this rock here. Whoop, double jump, and you're up. And get a grape lover at eight there. All right, let me just double check around here. No, I believe we got everything. All right, now, this we're also gonna do next video. This little slope down here leads to a secret hole, which leads to a tunnel system, and that tunnel system is how you get over to the island here. Okay, we're gonna do that next video. But for now, whoops. Discover the side of grace here. And we can level up, definitely. More points into strength. Alright, another scattered tree blessing or fragment can be had in here. See this angle here? If you put a beacon right there, this will lead us into this whole other area. Lots to pick up in there. Hold up, hold up, watch it now. There's this absolute, absolutely insane demi-human in here. This fucker right here, pardon my French, he is a, a force to be reckoned with. And don't think you can keep your distance, he can teleport over and just, just whack you upside your head. Big time. I mean, big time. So, we must treat him with kick gloves. I think the best thing to do is uh, Terra Magica. Switch over to Renalo's Full Moon. Um, let's take our. I meant to take this Flask of Wonders Physic. A couple of Full Moons. Mimic Tear. My mimic to respawn and run away. See that? That's some deadly shit, let me tell you. See, now he's tethered, finally. <laughs> my mimic tier. There you go, yeah. That's why I was running away, because I, I knew he was tethered. So he can't go any further than a certain po certain point there. Yeah, he is a force to be reckoned with. I kind of blew the strategy there. I was supposed to spawn my Mimic tier just before taking the Flask of Winter's Physic. And then while I was running away, um, she would have engaged. Alright, so, anyways, I'm still alive. <laughs> he must have a sense of humor. <laughs> And this should be three smithing stones, six. There we go. Now let's start working up this side here. 
don't need the meteoric. Let's just take that out. Just torch in and there you go. Mostly demi humans in here. He's sticking to the right side here. And there is the spirit sword. There's a lot of demi humans around here, though. So let's take care of them first. Back away. You can guard out these guys easy. Degree refill, that means this batch is dead, and let's go get the spirit sword, which is also scales with intelligence. It's perfect for our build. I'll show you about that later. This thing here. I'll show you what it does. This is the skill. You can get a follow up too. Okay, we're going to upgrade that, table that for a later date. Let's go back to the Starline Sword. There's something growling back here. Okay, and eventually we're working our way up. Sticking to the right side. These things here, see these like these little tube things with the red tip? You can like run past them. If you get near them, they start to swell and then they'll eventually blow up. You can actually use these to your advantage if you're being chased by an enemy, right? Let's just show you this. Do a lot of damage, but um yeah, you can use that to your advantage. That one dropped the ghost clever in one, how about that? Stick to the uh, the right side here. I got near one of those things. That's the thing about fighting the demi humans around it. Oh, little guy. Ducked my guard counter. Okay, so sticking to the right side here. Eventually, going to see a, a ledge on the left here. And there's a cave just ahead on the right. That's where the scattered tree f fragment is. Um, let me just purposely blow this one here. There's some demi humans up here you want to take care of. This guy right here. All right, there you can see in the cave there. There is a, the scattered tree fragment. It's guarded by this demi human chief, which you can see right here. Um, I think this is a job for Loretta's great bow. Let's just take care of this guy here so I don't want to accidentally fall down.
All right, right about here. All the good gear is on. All right, Terra Magica. Uh oh, I forgot to equip Loretta's great bow. Whoops. Okay, um, looks like it's night comet time. Oh, I know. How about uh, magic limp blade? Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, alternate strategy. Let's just blow this guy here. Oh, didn't quite do it. Come on, you know you want it. Haha. <laughs> These two are making me nervous too. If you're feeling really daring, you can sucker that chief out. And then blow those things to get rid of them. Okay. Should be safe up here. Magic Limp Blade. Done and done. Yeah. Took there ni right nicely. I keep forgetting about Magic Limp Blade. There you go, so there's our Scattered Tree Fragment. Bam! So now we can upgrade again. And that's pretty much everything in this area. Further on, we've already done the uh, the boss fight there and got the Starline Sword. We got the Great Glove right on top. So let's go back. And get another blessing. Alright. Up to nine. Excellent. Excellent. That's it for this run. Thanks a lot for watching. If you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give your slacks or a big old thumbs up, post a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. Alright, see you next time for some more Shadow of the Earth Tree. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, all right? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.